Hello there, I'm Alin, and today we are doing this live. No fluff, no slides, just building. We are taking a real problem, support emails piling up, and turning it into a fully automated AI-powered workflow. We'll build together an agent that reads, classifies, and routes these emails instantly. We'll be using UiPath AI agents and Maestro workflows, and I'm going to walk you through every step of how it works. So buckle up, this is going to be fast, fun, and full of real automation. Let's build. We are diving straight into UiPath Studio, where we first create an agentic process. Once the process loads, we are greeted by the autopilot chat. So here we can tell it that we'd like to build a process that it's triggered by receiving an email in Outlook. Then it uses an agent to categorize the emails. And at the end, we need to forward it to the responsible. After a few seconds, we get the first draft of our process. From here, we accept the changes that were suggested by Autopilot and we'll have to go through each component to configure it. First one is the trigger for receiving an email. So we'll have to select the Outlook connector. That's the one we're going to use for this demo. Then we select the trigger type, which is going to be triggered when an email is received, and the folder, Ticket Inbox. That's where, where we are receiving the tickets. We have to clean up the next component that's not needed. And then the first step after getting the email is to categorize it. And here we'll need to build an AI agent for that. By clicking the plus resource button, we get the agent screen. Once again, we have a helper here. So we can tell it in a few words that we'd like to create an agent that categorizes tickets received via email. We also tell it, okay, what are the categories that we use? So those are order and delivery issues, product and inventory requests, billing and payment queries, technical and warranty support. By using the autopilot chat, it's able to generate a first version of the system prompt and user prompt for us. So it takes only a few seconds for, for that to happen. And it gets us from a very simple out of the box system prompt, which was just you are an agentic assistant, to something which gets the context of what we are building. As we can see now on the screen, it tells it that you are an AI assistant. It tells it, okay, these are the categories in which you will have to put the tickets. And also, it creates the input and output schema. Basically, our agent will work with an input email. So it needs an email subject and an email body. And for the output, we are interested to see the category in which the, the email falls in. Next, we are ready to do a first run of our agent. Because now we have a system prompt, we have the user prompt, we have the input and output schema. We need some test data. So basically, we would need an email and an email subject that simulates a ticket. Let's say we don't have the data. We can actually use the generate button that's going to do it for us. So it creates an email, again, using the whole context of the agent. And it's able to do this first test run. It takes a few seconds for it to provision the run. And then we'll see the results. The e email that was simulated, it was about an order and delivery issue. And the agent was able to categorize it successfully. Now, that's only one test, but of course, we need to much better test our agent. So we have evaluation sets for that. So it's basically running through multiple sets of data. Also here, we have a wizard that we can use. So what I'm going to tell it is, OK, generate an eval set that contains two emails for each category so that we cover each ticket, category possible, and another two outliers, so two emails that do not fall in any of the categories defined, because that's also possible. Maybe you receive a job application email, and that's not going to be a ticket. Then we click the Generate Evaluators button, and in a few seconds, our evaluations are ready. With a click of a button, we can run through all 10, and we can see that we have a 100% score. That's great. It means that our agent is able to treat all categories of tickets. Let's have a look into one of the runs. We can see here that 
The agent was able to simulate an email that's about technical and warranty support and categorize it accordingly. So let's recap a bit. We've started with a simple agent. We've used Autopilot to build a prompt for it. Then we've done the first test run and we build upon it with creating evals automatically. So I would say that our agent is in a pretty good position now. So we are ready to come back in the agentic process and configure it. Here, we'll just have to link the two inputs, the email body and the email subject, and we're ready to go. Next, we'd like to prepare ourselves for the first run of the end-to-end -end process. So for that, we were thinking to also forward this categorized email to the responsible. For now, we'll just hard code the email address to where it's sent. So I'll put a dummy email address here. In a few minutes, we'll see how we can make that dynamic. OK, so we are now ready for our first run. We've put a dummy email that we can see on the screen that's regarding some issues with a warranty for a TV. So the email easily gets picked up. We can look through the logs in Maestro and see the trace, basically, that shows us this is a technical and warranty ticket. And then it gets forwarded to the email that was defined. OK, next step, let's make it dynamic. So it should be able to actually know which is the responsible that needs to handle each type of ticket. So for that, we've created a table in Data Fabric. Data Fabric is also part of the UiPath platform and it works as a database. So this is a simple table. It only has two columns, the responsible email address and the ticket category. So what we're going to do here is basically take the output from the agent that categorizes the ticket. So it tells us, OK, this is the category for this ticket. And we'll use that category to query the database to get the responsible email address. And afterwards, we'll send that email address further to Outlook. So that's how the ticket will get forwarded to the corresponding person. OK, we are now ready to give it a run. So as before, it's very similar, just that we have an extra step, which makes our flow dynamic and able to handle all tickets and route them to the corresponding responsible. We can also see the way the email was generated in Outlook and forward it to the email address from the data fabric table. Now, let's also try to handle the negative scenario. So let's say that our inbox doesn't only receive tickets. It might also receive other kind of emails. So how can we handle that? So basically, we defined our agent that in case of a ticket which doesn't fall in any of the categories, it will output that no category was identified. So we can use that output and make a decision point in our Maestro flow that in case it doesn't identify a category, it can be sent for a human review. So let's see how we can build that. We'll first start with the decision point that we add in our flow. So we'll need to define the two branches. So the, the branch that we've been through until now is when the category is identified. So we'll configure that exactly how we have instructed the agent to do the output. Now, for the next path, we'll have to prepare an action app. So that's the way a human can intervene in our workflow. So we'll create an action app with a wizard that allows us to do it in a few minutes. So we basically just need to define the input properties, which in our case are the email subject and the email body, and the output properties, which is basically the category that the human has reviewed. So I will call it reviewed category. We can then use the generate page function, which will build a simple web application for us. 
Of course, we can go on and customize it if necessary, but for the simplicity of this demo, we'll just rename it to review ticket. We'll delete this label. And that's all. Back to our agentic process. Let's now add a title for the action task to make it more easily understandable. So that's review ticket and the subject of the email. Basically, the reviewer we will get a notification via email whenever this escalation happens. So they will know from first sight, okay, that's the subject of the email. Now that we have the escalation app created, we'll also uh, need to update the query entity activity to use the reviewed category variable. And from here, we basically can give it a run. To illustrate how this works, we'll try to actually force the agent to create an escalation. We will use as an example, a job application email. In this way, we'll be able to illustrate how the agent will escalate for the human to review. So looking through the traces, we can see the output of the agent that no category was identified and it also explains us that we are dealing with a job application instead of a ticket. Immediately afterwards, going through our agentic process, there is an action task created that we can open easily. We can see here the email body and the email subject. And we have a field where we can enter the reviewed category. So in this way, we can cover those scenarios in which the AI agent is not able to identify the category. By having a human in the loop, our process is now able to continue after the human enters the reviewed category and clicks on submit. So the only step that remains now is to publish our agentic process. Once that gets published, anytime an email will reach the ticket inbox, it will get triggered. So no manual intervention anymore in our ticket processing system. And just like that, your inbox is fully intelligent. We've now got a system that can read incoming support emails, classify them with AI, route them dynamically, and escalate to humans when needed. What we just built is more than automation. It's time saved, it's better customer experiences, and it's fewer tickets falling through the cracks. If you are ready to bring this level of intelligence to your workflows, dive into UiPath and start building. You've already seen what's possible.